What is up, guys? It's Lay here, and welcome back to another World of Warships Legends gameplay. And today we are in the tier 7 French battleship. A beautiful, beautiful French battleship. It is the Champagne, and this ship is by far second to the Gascon. A really unique ship of course you might just be saying why is it really unique and you probably know the answer to that so I mean 406 millimeter guns there's only two turrets one in the front bow and one in the back bow or the alt bow if you want to say that but once again I must be saying 406 millimeter guns for a French battleship it is really you know not normal of course not something you would see every day usually french battleships have a well the only french battleships we have have 380 millimeter turrets but there's nothing wrong you know with 380 millimeter guns they still do their job now what's so unique about this ship is pretty much it's it plays like an upgraded gascon but with you know 406 millimeter guns and what's so unique about this ship is, you know, it is a quicker ship than the Richelieu and the John Bark. And another thing I have noticed that the community has mentioned once the ship was announced in the teaser trailer. Should I be even considering the teaser? It's, you know, more of a range ship. But the problem was, you know, placing yourself in a position to fulfill that sniper role is you know it's a time limit pretty much there's not a much enough time for you to position yourself in a spot where you can fulfill the duties of the ship and that is you know the sniper role and but other than that we did have a really good game in this ship this ship has you know more aspirations to fill in I feel like this ship it could do better was a really good build I have Duncan Kerr as my commander you might be wondering why I do have five heels I can as you can see on the bottom left of the screen five heels and then two engine boost along with my planes which this ship is really unique for to have its plane in the middle of its ship between the conning towers which is pretty impressive to be I'm, I have nothing wrong with the design of this ship other than you know the turrets being you know only two and one being in the front bow and the other one being in the back bow or also bow if you want to consider it. But other than that, this design of the French battleship is pretty, you know, beautiful. Now back to what I was saying about this game. This game's gonna be a really good game. 406 millimeter guns is going to be something to reckon with, especially with cruisers that, for example, Baltimore can bounce off 15 millimeter guns or not 15 millimeter guns 15 inch guns sorry uh 15 inch guns that are pretty much bismarck richelieu john bark gascon ah uh, monarch not monarch a uh, march monarch i think monarch has 15 inch guns i could be wrong vanguard also has 15 inch guns um missing something else no odin has 15 inch guns i think well the thing with odin is that you know since it has smaller caliber guns it does have the ability to reload quicker i think i have named them all but a Baltimore cannot, cannot outbound or bounce 
406 millimeter gun, so it's gonna be really unique to see how many people take out this ship to play. Of course, not many people have been saying really good things about this ship. It's you know more of a ship that we have to get used to if you want to you know fully master this ship and you know play it in and what we consider meta in the game right now but i mean i'm not really going to be seeing a lot of this ship in meta once the campaign is over because the ship is really a, a little bit difficult to ship to master and the reason for that is you know you have to kind of put yourself in the citadel position to you know use all six of your guns or eight actually ah, I keep forgetting it's actually quad turrets not triple turrets so if you want to use all eight guns you have to sort of put yourself in a citadel position so that is not you know something you really want to be in but we do our we are in a uh, legendary gameplay, legendary tier gameplay, and we are going to see how this ship can play against the curse for Yamato. We did hit the Baltimore there with the Citadel, and I was, you know, just talking about that earlier about Baltimore having or having armor able to, you know, bounce off 15-inch guns. And here is the curse for, but I, you know, aim a little beneath or above the water level there and you know 14,000 damage no citadel there we're up to 85,000 damage right now one fire two citadels not too shabby there uh you know champagne is a i mean my opinion since i am i do love my french battleships uh not a really bad ship to use I mean, the biggest downside of this ship, and I kind of don't want to, I want to know why they do this to the uh, Champagne, is, you know, you see the Iowa in the V-Lad with about, what, 70,000 health and their 406 millimeter guns, while, you know, the Champagne has 52,600 health. Which is pretty much a tier 6 health pool-ish level there. I've seen tier 5s with 5,000 health there. So, you know, it's really questionable how they put that low of HP to a tier 7 ship. That's almost about a cruiser level, if you think about it. A cruiser level... Cruiser health pool is about 42,000 to maybe 45,000. So it's almost there. Um, do I think this ship is more of a battle cruiser? I, um, in terms of its guns, it definitely does not play like a battle cruiser. It does have speed, and due to the fact that it has pretty iffy armor same as you know the rich loot and the gascon maybe you could probably consider this a battle cruiser but in my eyes i truly see this in a it seems like a nerfed battleship in my opinion it came out already nerfed i mean you think about it if this ship would have had at least you know 60,000 hp this ship would have been pretty good as we hit the baltimore there was another citadel and 19,000 HP. We're up to 112,291 damage there. Now, once again, I did mention we are in a legendary tier battle, so I did want to try out the guns to see how this ship will do against the Yamato as we get another Citadel off the Baltimore and we finish him off. Giving us 123,258 damage. Ouch, that kind of hurt. Now, here's the Iowa. And the Iowa is going to receive 
Um, well, six shells, I think. I believe six shells hit it and he does not go down. Could I one of the could I one this game? Um well I don't know. It's really questionable if I could have altered the outcome of this game. Now my teammate, well, he doesn't really do much to assist, uh, assist me, so it's pretty much going to cost the faith of this game. As you can see, we did hit him with two shells, but he's still alive. Now this gives me a choice between the Iowa and the Bismarck. Now the Bismarck's giving me a broadside, but I'm giving a broadside to the Iowa, so it's going to be a one for one hits pretty much there. We're getting for 8,000 HP. I'm trying to turn around and position myself so I don't give the broadside to the Iowa. And unfortunately, we still got hit there. And we're going to try our best to hit the Iowa there again before he reloads. And one show, I, I just, I, yeah, I don't understand what happened there. So we going to shoot again with our front bow and we fortunately enough we get the kill but the Iowa finishes us and our comeback is gone now we have 142,545 damage which was pretty good now if we could have finished the Iowa earlier um about a 60% chance I would have finished that Bismarck knowing that he is broadside probably give us a chance to win now Yamato would have probably ended me because he is about 75 ish percent of his health still alive so unless I was able to do something we probably will not have won this game but I mean this was a pretty good game you know 142,545 damage one fire, two destroyed ships, four citadels, top of the leaderboard with 1647 XP. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and I'll see you guys on the next one.